Well, I have my favorite blacksmith with me. <laughs> You're the <laughs> only one I know. You're the only one. <laughs> but anyway, he, he's amazing. He's absolutely amazing. And I was when he walked in, I said, oh, I love your pendant. That pendant is a knife. Can you believe that? He is a He's a forgerer. I'm a forgerer. <laughs> yes, I am. So I want those. I want the Ben Franklin. <laughs> do you? Okay. Okay. I can do that for you. <laughs> okay, but it'll be on a knife. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, this is uh, actually it's called a patch knife. It's what the mountain men used to carry uh, in the days when they loaded a ball in the end of the gun and had to cut oh. off the excess patch. It's oh. just a quick, handy little knife. So it was a tool that they yeah. used oh, for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, well aren't all knives tools, 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 but yeah. Not just a decoration. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought it looked kind of nice. Okay. Well, it does, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. You've, uh, you, one of your specialties is knives, and I know that we have some photos we can show, but did you bring anything in person to show? I did. I because he always me. brings something. But while he's getting that out, I want to tell you, he's really promoting the Skahari, uh Craft and uh, Fair that's coming up in Skahari. is the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, I think it is. Yes. I get the right, right date. And you can go, and it's at the Railroad Museum. You're a Railroad Museum there? Yeah, in Schoharie, there's a Railroad Museum. I did not know that. It's on Depot Lane. It's just a real neat place to go, and they've got an actual railroad car there. Oh, I'll have to scoot down there and check it out. Maybe I'll check out some of the the sale items. So what did you bring with us? And are are these going to be available at this? They are going to be available. And just a little more about the craft fair. We've got over 30 vendors. It's a wonderful event. I'm upstairs, so come see me. But a lot of really good people. Well, they keep the knives out of reach. I try You're going to be upstairs. I try to, yeah. (laughs) Okay. Little kids. And I love your bone handle. Is What what is it? This is an antler handle. Antler. And that knife, uh, a girl I used to work with came to me. Look at that! Her father's gorgeous. a big hunter, and that was one of the antlers she had taken. Okay, you can see that. Here. And uh, she wanted a knife handle made out of it. So don't you have to be pretty careful with antlers? I mean, wouldn't you split? Would they split or? Antlers are probably they're rocks. Oh, they're, they're like rocks. Yeah, okay. And they can be brittle, but very hard to work with. Uh, but. As you can see, it's a very classic look. It's a beautiful, beautiful knife. What would I use this knife for? Well, if I don't behave, I'm sure you could find a... No, I, no, I wasn't thinking of it as being a, a, a personal defense item. No, no. <laughs> but although it could be, I'm sure. It's, uh, and would this be like for gutting a... a, a for uh, hunting or whatever, okay. general use. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's Damascus steel, and that's... a. Uh, Layered steel that um, it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. The pattern comes out. It's it. Not only is this utilitarian, right? But it's a piece of art. It really is. Yeah. It really is. And do you make these too? Yes, I do. I do. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Look at that! Here's one with a wood handle. Oh, this! Oh, just like my kitchen knife. Yep. Yeah, so, and look at the heft on that. That's got some that's nice weight. That's a beast. It's got some nice weight to it. Yep. Well, what I do is I can custom make them to anything you want um, as far as... Is this something like a Scotsman would wear in his... No, nah, it's a little big for that. A little big that's for that, okay. That's actually called a Shindell, and I've made those before. Okay, those are for different. For a wedding, I uh, mm-hmm. made a five-foot Claymore sword one time. Yeah, oh. that, was, that was quite the beast. Yeah, I imagine. But anyway, so. And do you take special orders if somebody wants to? I custom make. I do an awful lot of I'm that. I'm going to put that in. I'd probably cut my hand off. I'd, no. I'd appreciate <laughs> it if you didn't. I don't have a mop. Blood. <laughs> but like the uh, this knife here that I made for the, the woman I used to work with. Um, with the antler. Right. And she wanted a very specific knife for her father for Christmas and all that. Well, if he's watching, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. But anyway, that's <laughs> Or don't look. <laughs> but, um, no, I custom make any size, shape. I've recently taken orders for uh, some chest knives. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, but let's can we see the, the pictures because one of them was uh, a Christmas uh, setting that you had. Which I thought was kind of interesting, a tree with little, yeah, what, what is that? Those are just, that's just horseshoe art, uh, a little Christmas tree. A with the antlers, the little deer with the antlers. Yeah. Uh, and those are the horseshoes yeah, you do, yeah. yeah. 
But that's just some of the stuff I do. Those are more of the knives that I've made. Uh, like I say, custom make anything you want. I try to keep them affordable uh, for people. Because well, it, 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 this takes you a little time to make, so you've yeah. got to figure your time. Yeah. Just to make the steel alone, to make the pattern or the layered Damascus, will take me a full day just to make the billet of steel. Of just the one knife, or yeah, do, can you do multiple knives at the I same? I can do multiple knives okay. at the same time, but after you get the billet of steel, now you have to draw it out and, and actually make the knife put on the handle. It's it's a lot of labor, but it's a labor. Of now labor, you really. buy the steel, or do you get? Because steel is what nickel and what? Uh, no, steel it, it depends. It comes in many different varieties. There's uh, 1095, which is a high carbon steel. There's 01 tool steel. I could go on. Oh, you, okay. So the, when, when you're in that field, you know. Right. And what gives you the pattern is when you take two different types of steel and you forge weld them together, and you keep layering it and layering it and layering it just like pastry. You layer that up, completely make the knife, and then the last thing you do is dip it in acid, and that brings out the pattern. Oh, so um, that's when I look at this and I see this little pattern here, that's what does? Yes. yes. I didn't know that. It, because different I steels, love that. I thought you did that by hand. No, no. <laughs> it's, uh, different steels react differently to the acid. One will darken more than the other. I see. Okay. Which gives you the pattern. And everyone's a fingerprint. Everyone is different. Uh, yeah, because there's going to be different, because nothing can be the same if you, exactly. yeah, once you do exactly. that. Exactly. So you're, you can actually purchase something, not this one, because this one's a birth, or Christmas one present. You can't, you can't do that one unless, one's you, for sale. The other but one's unless you want to bring your own antler in, <laughs> and, and he can make one just like this if you bring a good antler in. But you know? that's, that's what you do with it. Oh, by the way, before I forget... We're almost out of time. I always bring you a little gift. Oh, Thanks my God. Gift. Look at that with a little heart on it. Oh, I love that. I mean, I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. Oh, too. good. Yeah, good. yeah. You know what? Because I carry my keys on my belt. Yes. So I, I'm very ladylike. <laughs> so I carry, carry my keys on my belt. People say, don't you carry a purse? I said, no, I hate purses. So this is where I'm going to hang this up, and this is where my keys are going to go when I take them off. That's what you need. So that's perfect. I, I, right now I'm throwing them in a box. That's okay. So Don't throw them in a box. No, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to hang them up right on that, and it's going to be at least. Did you, did you know you have to hang your keys at least 10 to 15 feet away from your car, or else your battery goes dead yes, on your key? I've heard that. Yes. So I'm doing them in the dining room now. <laughs> Anyway, check out the sale over at Skahari. You'll have a great time. Look at what you can buy on knife. Oh, my gosh, these are gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Not only that, he doesn't just do knives. He does wonderful. And I should have brought in what you gave me last time. I meant to do that, but I had too many things I was carrying. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, he's amazing. Uh, so, check out Brian Salisbury. Go to his website. Go to his website. You'll find out all kinds of neat stuff that he has and on there. And please come to the craft fair. Please do. Really a great. He's a nice great guy, he, and he'll and he'll show you this stuff. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love to have him on the show. We're going to take a quick break, and we know we're going to be still talking, uh, you know, with the folklore and uh, also all kinds. They do crafts as well there, so let's learn a little bit about that and their 75th anniversary. Stay tuned. <laughs> 